So here are a couple of my tasks today. So um, I have an inspection report that I have to uh, help two sellers with to have conversations. I have a listing appointment. Uh, I don't know the time on that. I have uh, to set up showings for a couple of my buyers. I don't have any open houses. They're all in escrow, all of our listings. Um, I do need to meet with an, another investor to talk about an offer. And then I have a client that we have to get um, her mom's property is only under her mom's name and so um, she's having some health problems and in case her mom passes away we don't want this going into probate so she's supposed to have that recorded today i can't sleep at night until she gets that done first thing i do is drink a big old cup of water once i'm done with that i brush my teeth and shave i try and get to the gym by about 6 30. three squirts and then the comb over so I'm not gonna work too much on getting beautiful because I'm going to the gym and then I'm coming home and taking a shower all right gotta get to the gym it's about 6 17 don't know if I want to take my bicycle my 19 mile an hour scooter or my 50 mile an hour scooter let's go with the slow one today If they say slow and steady wins a race. All right, we should get up to 19 miles an hour on this one. Oh, there's Tony. What's happening? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Biden looks like a total ass. They try it after nine days. He says something about the chaos at the, at the fucking college. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> he has his opinion, huh? It's going to seem like I own this gym, but I know the owner pretty well. And I actually help them a lot with their computer stuff when it goes down, things like that. So. Good morning. Hey. What's up, boss? How are you? It's a beautiful day. It is. It's May gray, though. Yeah, I know. Look. I know. Where's the sun? Where's the sun? <laughs> May gray. And all these YouTubers are saying that you got to hang for at least, what, seven minutes a day now. So, so I'm going to go for my one arm today. Let's see what we can do. So this is one arm. That's 10 seconds. Oh, it's getting hard. I'm gonna have to look on the video. I don't know how long it's been, so. Ah. Chicken and bacon ranch subway well, shirt. I'm wondering because how I'm, do I pick I'm, one of those up? Where would I buy one of those? Hell, hell, hell! I don't know. I've had this thing about 20 years. <laughs> How'd you come across this? I, I, somebody gave me a bunch of T-shirts. Let's give this a shot. I'm messing with you guys. I changed this back and put it on 10. So just to prove to you, I'm not that strong. All right, we're calling it a day, headed back home after the gym. Just got home, so time to pick up a little dog poop. 
and put a little water on our fruit trees. And then I'll shower up and try and be on the phone by eight o'clock. All right, time to get a little coffee going. Jeez, I don't know. Is coffee good for us or bad for us this month? What do you think? All right, so I'm showered up, getting into my home office, to my desk. Okay, here I have a Facebook Marketplace lead for one of my listings, so I'll be responding to that. Okay, here we're checking our Fitbit. So breathing rate, 11 beats per minute, heart rate variability good, skin temperature the same, oxygen 97%, and resting heart rate 59. A little higher on heart rate, but we're trying to get, get it back down to the 50s. So here are a couple of my tasks today. So um, I have an inspection report that I have to uh, help two sellers with to have conversations. I have a listing appointment. Uh, I don't know the time on that. I uh, to set up showings for a couple of my buyers. I don't have any open houses. They're all in escrow, all of our listings. Um, I do need to meet with an, another investor to talk about an offer. And then I have a client that we have to get um, her mom's property is only under her mom's name and so um, she's having some health problems and in case her mom passes away we don't want this going into probate so she's supposed to have that recorded today i can't sleep at night until she gets that done just part of who i am um, and then from 12 to 1 i have an exceptional entrepreneurs event that my wife and i um, uh, started back in I don't know, 18 years ago, and we have three exceptional people run that, but I get to present all of my clients, buyers and sellers to a group of hundreds of possible people every Friday. All right, what you see right here is a plug that is showing a ground. So the I'm working on the listing side, the seller. Uh, we had that fixed, and now we have to send pictures over so they remove their contingencies. All right, our third call for the morning. Hello, this is David. How can I help you? Typical block. Gosh, it never ends. Oh, I just came across this post on Facebook. One of my best friends passed away of throat cancer, 52 years old, and his wife is sharing memories. Well, I just found out my wife is working, so I don't have anything to eat, so I'm gonna shoot over to my favorite taco shop, and I'm gonna take the super scooter. All right, if you watch this from the beginning, you saw my slow scooter. This happens to be the Segway. This is called their GT2 super scooter. This does almost 50 miles an hour. Uh, therefore, that's why I'm wearing an actual motorcycle helmet. So we're going over to Bayard Express, get us a Bacon breakfast burrito. Wait till you see this thing. Oh, they're good. All right, we got the scooter turned on. I don't know if you can see, but we're in sport mode. So here we go. Uh, actually, we're speeding, so we got to bring it down. Be safe. Hit cruise control. There we go. On this model, we got turn signals, we got horn, disc brakes, traction control, eco mode, sport mode, and then boost mode. This scooter actually has regeneration, so I'm decelerating and it's recharging the battery. Cut it in half because these things are huge. It probably weighs a pound. Anyway, look at that baby. Oh yeah. That is looking delicious. Ooh. 
Well, hello, how are you? Good, good, how are you? Doing good. Good. Tell me about, uh, give me the quick version. I'm sorry, I'm actually eating. <laughs> uh, the quick version? Uh, quick version, uh, the two separate problems. One, in one of the outlets, the ground inside was not connected. Like, I guess the guy, the handyman, should have pulled it. He, he did connect it, but it wasn't connected to the box on the other side. Like, in the box, you know, sometimes the ground connected to the box. All right, we're headed home. I got my lunch here on the scooter deck, and here we go. Tesla here. Let's get it, boy. <clears throat> All right, we got the cruise control set on the scooter. Roll on into the garage and get back to work. There we are. home all right here's another text that just came in uh, keeping it confidential again uh, this is a lady at the gym that's asking me for my handyman that just did an exceptional job for another lady at our gym so man the gym is a really active place for a realtor to engage okay another text message came in this is from a client who's looking to sell and buy and she says that uh She's going to look at this house tomorrow when it's open. It needs a lot of work. It's been on the market for 45 days. Odd, there hasn't been a price reduction. But it all comes down to seller motivation and realistic expectations. So maybe it's not a serious seller. Won't you please wave at me if you see Welcome to EE pop up on your side? Fantastic, thank you so much. Won't you please meet our founders? Dave is with us today, and Dave and Gina Domangos founded this group in November 2008. Ooh, what a day! So we're headed to a closing. We helped the seller with her first 1031 exchange, and she is ecstatic. So she's actually exchange exchanging a property here in the very southwest side of Escondido here in San Diego for two properties. Um, remember, 1031 has to be um, of, of equal value or more, like for like. So uh, real estate for real estate. And uh, so she's doing uh, two exchanges, well, one exchange um, with two properties in Las Vegas. So I'm going to remove the sign, putting on the combo lock box so the happy buyers can move in and close two weeks early. So uh, her 1031 exchange was working out better than she had anticipated. And um, by the way, Asset Preservation is an amazing company. If you need a 1031 exchange company, we've used them on about uh, nine of our clients recently um, have used them. They've done somewhere around 200,000 exchanges. That's insane to me. How do you do 200,000 exchanges? Damn it, I just got I just got slapped for my full self driving on my Tesla. Just kicked me off. So if that happens more than four times in a month, I can't use autopilot for a whole week. So this is a happy day for the seller. This goes in the window. This gets removed. And we have a new happy buyer. And again, an extremely happy seller. Okay, so now I'm going to call our client, let her know that the property is ready to close. And let's see if we've created a five-star experience. That's our goal here. Hello? Netta, everything is ready for close. The signs are moved, lock boxes removed. 
combo box <laughs> ready to go. So um, they said to send the addendum over for an early close on the 15th. So you want me to do that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Has it yeah. been a five-star experience? That's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, I'm leaving the property now. Everything looks clean, ready to go. So. So now we need to release this shackle so we can pull off this electronic lock box, which uses a cellular signal and that. So let's see, what do we got here? And hit enter. And this will actually detach itself. There you go. Set that down. I'm doing this one handed. And we put this back in here. So it's ready for the next listing. And you'll see it there. It's unassigned, so this is going to go on to our next listing, which we have two uh, coming up. Just had uh, dinner, quick shower, had to eat leftovers. My beautiful wife is actually out with her zoo friends. Uh, she worked at the San Diego Zoo for about 17 or 17 years, 18 years. Good news, so I have a, another new listing coming on. Uh, it could be anywhere from a couple days to maybe a few weeks. So I'm working on getting a bunch of infographics together for that and um, already have some coming soon marketing going for on this screen over here. Um, you notice I'm at a different desk. My other desk is on that side and I was going to turn the TV on over here but I decided to leave it off. Don't need any more negative news but sometimes I work good with a little bit of background noise and um, but I just don't want to be distracted with all the negative stuff out there. So um, this inspection here. Uh, helped the seller um, actually met with the inspector again and got him to sign off on all repairs complete. So for now, that's about a um, what have, about 11 hours into my day. I did have a lunch and a little break. So, um, but this is a typical day over here. Awesome San Diego real estate. I'm gonna try and shut this down. Answer a couple more quick emails. Actually, here's a funny one. I get these quite often, at least once a week, I get these spam um, people fishing. So here it is. Um, so it happens if, if you're a realtor watching this and you're getting these WhatsApp leads, um, this person says, and this happens all the time now, I get it at least once a week. In fact, you know what? I'll bring it up on my screen so you can, I can read it here. Okay, all these are going to be archived leads. The one that came in just about, well, actually when this video was recording, um, they say this all the time. Hi, this is Pura Menon. I'm the assistant to Anadu Gornick. He is looking for a single family house and needs your assistance in finding a good house for him. Send him a WhatsApp message and see if you can assist him, assist him in buying this house. His WhatsApp number is da da da. He will give you a call when he will be free on WhatsApp. <laughs> Happens every week, crazy. So I reply back, I try and get them on the phone. They say they can't talk, they're out of the country over and over and over again. So gotta be smart, you gotta be a, an aware agent. All right, so to check my list, I got the quick claim was recorded. I got the two inspections done and, and solved. Listing appointment, I ended up uh, getting that. Um, I set up one showing, the other buyer doesn't want to look at showings now this weekend. Um, no open houses for me, which is a, nice to have a weekend off. Um, met with the investor, talked about the offer. They're staying where they uh, originally came in. It was their highest and best. Um, and then 12 to one, I did my networking meeting. And so it's just after six, what, 6.15. I'm gonna check a couple more emails, try and shut my brain off and um, see if I can relax for the rest of the night. So this is Dave Domangos over here at EXP Realty and awesome San Diego real estate. If you've had any thoughts of moving into or out of San Diego, native San Diego for 53 years. So anyway, all my information is in the description below. If you like what you see here, like and subscribe. We're always adding new information, everything about living in and around San Diego. And if you are looking to make a move, all my information is in the description below. You can call, email, text, set up a Zoom meeting, whatever works for you, and we'll make it happen. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.